Well, your chemistry final exam is approaching, or just imagine you are having an important chemistry test due tomorrow, but you haven't got any pieces of knowledge related to that subject because you have lost it basic. And it's currently 8 p.m. right now, just several hours left before the deadline. So, what should you do in that circumstance? Getting bitterly disappointed about yourself, then crying, crying in vain, and finally hitting the sack and praying for the better fate. Well, I'm sorry to say that the universe might receive so many prayings from you guys that it's overloaded. Just kidding, mate. Here's what the universe sent back to you. Step by step, a non-basic tips that can help you get over the exam with flying colors. Take your season of occupation. It's time to send in your application. Get to know your short-term friends. You only talk to till summer ends. Well, as you can probably see, in case you've learned chemistry and currently watch my videos in order to improve your scores, I think it might be very challenging to go from nothing to the competence of solving all forms of exercises at once, right? So the first easiest aspect in chemistry that you need to focus on right now is theory, because you are losing your basic and cannot solve a single chemistry simple exercise, right? So it's really essential. To begin with the theory as a foundation of your future study in the subjects. Besides, in a Vietnamese chemistry entrance exam, theoretical questions account for up to 60% of the total points. And surprisingly, most of them are just at basic and medium level. That means if you start learning seriously, you have already got six points in your bag. But how to learn by heart lengthy knowledge without dropping any pieces of information? Here's what you do. I call it the blank method, and actually it's really simple. First, grab a pen, a piece of paper, and your most important notes. Now, you're gonna simply reread them by copying down the hardest and most tricky parts of your notes instead. Remember to leave some blanks like this. Then, go eat some food, decompress a bit, and go back to your work later after 30 minutes and fill all the blanks out to your best memory. Finally, check out if you recall those hard things or not. If not, do this process again and miracles will say hello to you. You also can divide your study into many sections based on your chapters and these following aspects in the theory. Then apply my method. So when you've been more confident in terms of theoretical knowledge, it's time to move on the most important part, chemical reactions. The very first thing that you really need to be adept at when solving any random types of chemical questions. And if you cannot write a correct chemical equation, it's really impossible to solve questions, even the most simple one. So in order to accurately write an equation, first you have to understand its feature as well as the rules in chemistry. Therefore, you need to find out how many types of chemical reactions are there, um, those reactions happen in what condition, and in order to create a particular product, what chemicals you need to add, something like that. And here are some basic foundations that need remembering in order to have an absolutely precise equation. just a very small tip but I still want to mention it in my video because I believe that it can help you kind of balance a chemical reaction faster. Um, according to my observation, I realized that many of you still use the traditional way to balance the equations, like just counting the number that can fit in. However, this method is just appropriate for simple chemical reactions like this, this, or this. So when it comes to those complicated ones, take this equation as an example, it takes a really long time for us to balance it right away, if just counting numbers in an uh, irrational way. So that's why you have to learn all the 12 methods here so as to have the first step completed in a chemistry exercise.
Imagine you are sitting in a chemistry exam. Everything is going your way, and suddenly a very tricky question bobbing up in a test makes you extremely anxious. Here's what you do: first, you have to get rid of your panic and super anxious feelings by taking a sip of water or applying the Silva method by holding your hand tight or keeping your free fingers like this for about five to ten seconds. After you become calmer and refocus to the test, try to apply one or some of those laws in chemistry. Besides, to make sure that you won't get me wrong, I would say this tip only can help you solve the medium advanced questions in the normal test in school. But if you want to master chemistry, or like you want to engage in an Competition for excellent students that you can do any random exercise regardless of their levels of difficulties. You have to learn more advanced theory and more formula as well as do at least one to two practice tests on a daily basis to reach that level. Okay, have you ever seen a chemistry exercise that takes you up to thirty minutes to solve, but the toppers in your class just kind of use their calculator and even don't need to draft and snap of that that question in ten seconds or even five seconds, and then they use their other five seconds to check again and move to other questions. That means they just need fifteen seconds in total to complete a chemistry question. Then it's understandable why you often see the toppers put the bands down at the table and take a nap when it's been just about fifteen minutes since the teachers give them the answer sheets. And here's the secret.